And last night we told you uh, about this married couple who was arrested and accused of property fraud. The homeowners in this case say the county's free alert system helped lead to this arrest. Speaking of that, court officials do tell us about 1,300 people signed up for their pro property fraud alert system after watching our story. So good news there. Prevention does work. Fox 13's Ariel Placencia joins the Center Newsroom with more. Uh, hi there, Ariel. I know you're hearing from even more homeowners from them who say that they're victims of property fraud, too. What did you find out? Yeah, that's right, Mark. So yesterday we told you about the arrests of that husband and wife who are both facing charges here in Hillsborough County. But according to court documents, the husband in this case is also facing similar charges in Miami-Dade County, where new victims tell us he tried to take ownership of their properties, too. This Tampa police body cam video was recorded during the March traffic stop when Victor Rodriguez and his current wife were arrested. Victor Rodriguez is my ex-husband. That's Carolina Sauer from Miami. Shortly after her father passed away last year, Sauer says her family made a suspicious discovery. We found out that the titles of my father's properties had all changed through quick claim deeds. We questioned how did this happen? And when they looked at the documents, they had even more questions. Who forges a deceased person's signature? Who does that? These Miami-Dade court documents describe several fraudulent and forged deeds, allegedly between Sauer's father and Rodriguez. According to records, Rodriguez, quote, clearly forged his ex-father-in-law's signature. And this March arrest warrant from Miami-Dade County includes images of signatures on various quick claim deeds. The document only requires a notary and two signatures with an address listed next to them. Quick claim deeds are not difficult to forge, court officials tell me. It's why Hillsborough County Clerk of Court Cindy Stewart says she's pushing for tougher legislation on this while making sure her clerks always watch for suspicious behavior. Misspelled names, addresses that don't appear that they actually exist. Uh, misspelled cities. Meanwhile, Sauer says her family continues to fight her ex-husband in court. The hardest thing for us emotionally has been we've just tried to protect my father and his legacy. She says they hired a handwriting expert and have spent a ton of money in legal fees. So if you own property in Florida, her family's message is one of awareness. There could be multiple people doing this in the state. And I've reached out to Victor Rodriguez's attorney, and we'll let you know when I hear back. Rodriguez's current wife, her name is Michelle Cherry. She was also arrested here in Tampa, and she is named in some of those Miami-Dade court records. Now, Cherry tells me that she's working with her attorney to send a statement, so I'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, if you want to get signed up for that free Hillsborough County property fraud system, head over to our website, fox13news.com. Mark, you'll get notified anytime a document is filed against your property, and of course, completely free. The worst part about this is it can happen to so many people and they don't even know it. Exactly. You know, that's the hard part. So uh, we'll sign up for these alerts and we'll find out for sure. Ariel, uh, since you're in our newsroom, Ariel, thanks very much. Great information.